kids, welcome to Epic Kids. We have several fun things planned out for you this morning. I am Tatiana and today I'm going to share a true story right out of the Bible. And then we're going to make a craft together that you guys can make from the comforts of your home. So are you ready? Let's do this. We're going to be learning about the life of Jesus during the next following weeks. We are in Lent season, which means we're in the 40-day period between Carnivals and Easter, where every year we meditate on Jesus' life and we meditate on the sacrifice that He made to um, set us free from our sins. So I pray that during this season we can be radically transformed by the Spirit of God to look more and more like Jesus every day. Let's start with today's memory verse. This passage Jesus said to his disciples and he's saying to us as well today. The verse goes like this. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. In the verse is in John chapter 14, verse 6. So let's practice. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Let's do it one more time. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And the passage is in, okay, yes, in John 14, 6. Guys, you did such a great job with the memory verse. I encourage you to keep practicing it at home during this week. Let's see now how it ties out with today's Bible story about um, the baptism of Jesus. That's on Matthew chapter 3, verse 1 to 17. The story goes like this. John, John the Baptist, he was in the desert baptizing people. But he wasn't just doing that. He was also preaching to people about God. Uh, he was telling people that they needed to turn their lives around from sin and towards God. Baptism, what it meant, was it was a physical sign to people that you had made the decision to follow God and to not sin anymore. Um, Jesus was telling people all about this Savior that was coming to save them from their sins. And one day, you know what happened? Um, Jesus went to visit John. And when he was on his way towards John, the Holy Spirit told John that Jesus was the Savior that was going to save him from their sins and that he wasn't a regular man just like anybody else. Since Jesus, he is the Son of God, he, it means that he has never sinned. He lived a perfect life and he didn't need to be baptized at all, so he didn't get what he was going there. He didn't need to turn his life around to the Father because Jesus already was united. He lived in unity with God. But you know what Jesus said when he got to John? He told him, I want to be baptized. And John didn't understand why Jesus wanted to be baptized. He didn't need to. But Jesus told him that he had to be obedient to God, that he will follow the Father in whatever order he, he told him. In whatever, um, he, whatever place he told him to go, Jesus would go, uh, even when it didn't make sense to him. And you know what happened when Jesus got baptized? Um, there was something so beautiful that happened, like an answer from heaven. Um, Jesus, when he was getting baptized, there was this voice from heaven that came from God himself. And that voice said, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. What a glorious moment that had to be. We can see that even Jesus, he, had, he benefited from that obedience. He got a reward from that obedience. So I encourage you to read this story with your family, with your sisters and brothers from home. And to read it again, it's in Matthew 3, um, verse 1 to 17. Today's lesson is on obedience. We all know that it's not easy to be obedient sometimes to our parents and to other authority figures in our lives, like teachers, like our other family members that may be older than us, or even um, security guards in the mall or in a place that we're visiting. It can get hard sometimes. 
And it, this is just saying some examples. There's many other authority figures that we have in our lives. Um, and it's hard to be obedient to them, even when we can see them with our own eyes. Imagine how much harder it is sometimes to follow God, who we cannot see with our eyes. And it gets even harder, like in moments like this, when we're at home all the time, when we're not going to school anymore, but instead we're connecting to the internet to have online classes and we have a lot and a ton of homework to do. And then there are times where we get bored and we cannot get out anywhere because we are trying to not spread the coronavirus and we, we're having the safety measures. Guys, I feel you. I understand you. Times like this are not easy times. We can't get bored of following rules and of behaving. I know you might be moody or you might be scared or you might not understand what is happening right now. You might be complaining a lot at home because you don't want to follow rules anymore and you don't see the benefits of behaving. You don't want to do your homework, you don't want to um, do your chores and your responsibilities. I know this, is, this looks like the perfect moment to slack and do whatever you want, but I can assure you that God still cares what you're doing right now and if you are behaving or not, if you're being obedient or not. It matters to Him more than to anybody. Even if nobody can see you, God can see you. Your obedience to God doesn't go unnoticed. It, it has the power to show people in your life in a time of crisis like this that God is real and that He is good. It brings glory to God. That's why Jesus knew the importance of Him being obedient in a task like that and getting baptized so that, we would, so that we would know that it was important to God. If He did it, we should do it as well. There will get a moment in your life, there will, you will get to the moment where you can make that decision too, if you want to get baptized or not. But if we put it to our task, our daily task right now, like doing homework, like obeying our parents, now that we're all at home together all the time, now that we're looking to each other all the time, um, I encourage you to ask the Holy Spirit to guide you, to ask the Holy Spirit to help you. He lives in you. And when you don't have the strength to do something, the Holy Spirit will give you the strength if you ask Him, if you pray. So this is the moment where I want to encourage you to seek God and pray in those hard moments. Don't give up. Don't be disobedient because all of that has consequences. I know that right now you may not see the benefits of sticking to school, to stick into your responsibilities, to stick into have peace and calm in this middle of all this storm. But in the future, when you guys get back to school, when you guys get back to your regular and daily lives, this how you how you act in a moment like this will have made a difference to your friends, to the people around you, um, to other people that might know not know God. So guys, I encourage you to stay on track and ask God to help you. Okay guys, it's crowd time. Today we're gonna make an accordion book um, to remind us about the blessings of obedience.